CPAG have produced a new book called Winning a Benefit Appeal, which they um, flagged up when they came here in December. So I'm passing that on. It includes the new rules about mandatory reconsideration, as do the fact sheet that was in the materials that were listed for today, our fact sheet about mandatory reconsideration, and as does our challenging decisions and appeals training course, which we run separately to this webinar. That, so that's the outline of, of the three things that we're looking at, and the next slide shows what the new law is. So first of all, setting out how the, the law has come about. As always with welfare rights law, you have um, a, a sort of skeleton of the new um, process coming by way of primary legislation an Act of Parliament, so in this case it's the Welfare Reform Act 2012, Section 102, and, and that brings in a, a power for the Social Security Secretary to make new regulations um, about mandatory reconsideration. The, the actual details, as always, are in the secondary legislation, the regulations um, made by the Secretary of State for, so, for Work and Pensions, and here they are, it, the Social Security, it's basically, this, they call it the Decision and Appeals Regulations, uh, there's, there, there's its full name on the screen, but the Decision and Appeals re, um, Amendment Regulations of 2013 have put into effect the um, Welfare Reform Act Section 102 and amended the original Decision and Appeals Regulations, the one that govern um, revisions, supersessions and decisions, so that certain conditions have to be met in order for you to have a right to appeal. And also, there's been another bunch of amendment regulations uh, to do with the tribunal procedure because um, not only does um, mandatory reconsideration change the way that the DWP does things, it also changes the way that the tribunals um, respond in that they are the ones that you have to appeal to direct. So those tribunal procedure amendment rules amend the main tribunal rules to reflect the changes. So what the changes do is they remove the right of appeal unless a revision has first been considered. And uh, there you've got a regulation 3ZA, just um, of, of the decision and appeal regulations. Um, the ZA, whenever you see a capital letter like that, it means that that regulation has been changed several times by addition of, well, originally it would have been 3A and then 3B and then eventually 3Z and they want to going around the alphabet for the second time, there's so been so many changes to that reg. And so regulation 3ZA says that you have no right of appeal unless a revision has been considered